There was a Pharisee who was an important man in the town. He heard that Jesus was in town, and so he made invitations. Jesus, too, was to come to his house. And so Jesus arrived with his friends, and everyone sat down at table to eat. Someone turned up who had not been invited. Everyone knew that she was a great sinner. She had heard that Jesus was there, and she wanted to see him. When she came into the house of the Pharisee, she had a jar of perfume in her hand. The perfume was extremely valuable. When she saw Jesus there at table, she sat down at Jesus' feet and wept. Her tears fell on the feet of Jesus. Then she dried his feet with her hair and kissed his feet. Next, she poured the perfume over his head and the whole house was filled with the beautiful fragrance. Then the Pharisee got angry and said to himself, Jesus is not a prophet. He ought to know that this woman who kissed his feet is a great sinner. And Jesus said to him, I'd like to tell you a story. There were two guys. One owed 500 pounds to the bank. The other owed 50 pounds to the bank. Neither of them had the money to pay the bank the money they owed. And what did the bank manager do? He said to the two guys, I don't want the money back from either of you. The matter is closed. And then Jesus asked, which of the two guys will be most grateful to the manager of the bank? And the Pharisee replied, I think it's the guy who had been let off the most, the one who owed 500 pounds. That's right, said Jesus. You see this woman here? I came into your house and you did not wash my feet. But what did this woman do? She washed my feet with her tears and dried my feet with her hair. I came into your house and you did not give me a kiss, but she's kissing my feet non-stop. I came into your house and you did not anoint my head with oil, but she anointed my head with perfume. And so I need to say to you, her many sins are forgiven because she loved much. But he who has been forgiven little has little love. And Jesus said to the woman, your sins are forgiven.